The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WBGR Network. Another lovely Wednesday here on Get It Got It Good. I am your host, Naja Wilhite. Sitting next to me is John John. Hello, everybody. How are everybody doing today? So today we are talking to the artists. So that could be, you know, singers, dancers, entertainers, entertainers, <laughs> entertainers of any sort. So speaking of that and designers, I want to shout out Bomb City, you guys. Stay tuned. This is a Bomb City shirt. She knows. <laughs> um... You know, I kind of had to get this one. <laughs> but hey, thank you. Nothing but love for you, Jay. Um, so you guys, we definitely have a lot to talk about today. There are some events coming up, some some local events, some bigger events. But as an artist, you want to definitely step your foot in the game some way or some sort. Get your name out there. Build your local following. Um, and who better to do that than you, right? Of course. <laughs> um, so you work with... All, all kinds of people, right? All kinds of different um, different people, backgrounds, entertainment, dancers. Um, you have singers, you have rappers. You have people that have money and people that don't. People that's popular, people that's not unpopular. But overall, when you see a whole lot of different people come together, it's like now it's a show. Now it's no longer open, open mic. It's no longer a showcase. So that's what my company does. We bring out the performers out of you. The so, artists. So do you do artist development? We do. We actually break down with certain people. Like, if they don't have a particular something that's in them, then we bring it out of them. Like, here, this is your passion. Bring it. <laughs> okay, so, cool beans. So, you guys, you'll see me doing different things as we move on. Only from cues from the producers. Thank you. Gotta shout them out, as always. Thanks, Koi. Um... So, with artistry, you guys, whether you are a dancer, whether you are a singer, um, there is the stage performance and then there's rehearsal. Rehearsal is a time where you hone your skills and, and get that star quality, that show performance is definitely needed. Uh, but like you said, everybody don't already have it. So, right. you work with the newbies yes. as well as people who've been performing for a long time. For a long time. Yes. So, what are some of the things that I know you've done already? So we have done um, a lot of different like showcases. We have done open mics. Um, one of my popular ones that I have developed on is called, you know, December 27th, it was Secret Santa. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have done um, last December. It was about, you know, this popular artist, it's called Lil Day Tyso. Mm -hmm. His song called Ooh. Mm -hmm. And when somebody was like that that came to show out, he showed out, he performed, and everybody enjoyed it. And if, if you don't know his song, it's called um, Ooh, Work It, and it's on YouTube. It's like a thousand followers is already on it. And yeah, come go check it out. So with that, when you work with these artists and things, do you, as from the promotional standpoint, right, do you promote and or get the venue and say this is what you want to do and then reach out to your artists or do sometimes people reach out to you and then say hey this is the event I want to do this is how I want it to look how do you go about just the planning phases so um 
for me personally, I can't really speak with, you know, speak about anybody other other promoters. But of how I try to break it down, I give myself a six month thing. Then I break down like who should I get? Who's the most popular person I can go reach out to that's gonna bring out the people? Because the number one thing as a promoter, mm-hmm. you have to break down of how you can't make your money back. So if you're in Baltimore and you say, All right, I'm gonna get the popular artist as much as can. Um, last December it was Lil Day. His mm-hmm. song is still going on. Then you have um, TMC The Dawn. His song is called uh, Hellcat. And each each artist that come to me is out in DM, is out in person. It's either um, they hit me by phone, popular, unpopular, Latin, reggae, hip hop, no matter what you are, longer as you have a large following. Mm-hmm. Laura, as you have people that you know for a fact that's going to come and watch you, that matters the most as a promoter to me because I'm paying you. Mm-hmm. And as much... <laughs> bring the people, y'all. Bring the people. <laughs> so, 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 so. Okay, so a lot of people don't know that um, as, as an influencer, right? Like if you're a social media influencer, you have like over 10,000 followers or more. Uh, 10,000 followers is like baby influencer, right? Yeah. Um, but companies are looking, promoters are looking, people are looking for that following because that's how they reach various audiences, exactly. right? So how do you, as a newbie artist, as a newbie artist in any form, build that following? So the way I look at it, um, you have to do a lot of networking. You have to um, just... Don't rely just on social media. Do not rely on Instagram. Just just don't get too comfortable. Sometimes you got to go old school. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, I'm going to do some street performances. Mm-hmm. And um, there's an artist that was called Danny, Danny Lenia. She um, she had a song called Easy by Chris Brown. And, Danny um, Lee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was... Um, she was dancing. She was just mm-hmm. dancing in New York. She was singing. And somebody saw her do that, and that's how she was able to get out there. Yeah, push. she went viral with that one video. Well, she was doing it for a while, so you guys may think it's an overnight success. Yeah. But Danny was dancing for a while. And I know Danny, not personally, but I followed her because I'm a dancer. Um, but she was dancing for a while, and this video took her viral, which then gave her the platform and the views and the, exactly, and the, yeah. and the you know, to take it to the next step. But she did not rely on social media. And that's what some of the millennial <laughs> artists do. Rely um, on social media. And sometimes it's like, it's it, it helps because it's the, the image. They mm-hmm. say like, oh yeah, they got 8,000 followers, they got 10,000 followers, go book this, go check them out then they don't bring no people. So, so would like, you think those followers are the paid followers? You guys, there or there are companies out there that say, pay me, blah, blah, and we'll get you the followers. Um, but those are not the loyal followers. You actually want to build a real base of people, real people that you've either met through networking events, exactly. um, that are fans of yours that purchase your stuff, um, Shows, or that concerts. follow you, you yeah. know, you know, organically, because those are the ones who actually will come out. Exactly. So how do you differentiate between the people with the following that is just not so supportive versus the following that is supportive, just by experience, by booking them? Um, I have a little smaller events. Mm-hmm. So um, the shows that I have is coming up. It's called um, June 28th. Is at Annex Lounge. Um, Saturday... 1818 Maryland Avenue. If you are an artist or if you are uh-huh. a dancer, please hit my phone. It's 443 979 1233. And of course, my Instagram is kingdom underscore ENT underscore media underscore film. Underscore. Underscore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Just search it, it'll come up. Yeah. So, what are the differences? Because you actually have a few KM, KEMF pages. So Come the difference, them. the difference is, um, I have employees, so mm-hmm. they have um, different jobs to do. So 
what my company actually does, we bring the entertainment, we bring mm-hmm. the media, we bring the filming. So the entertainment part, you know, the shows, the, mm-hmm. the dancing, the music, the, you know, I do party hosting. That's mm-hmm. me personally. But my company, we just brings it and just comes out like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. They want to come see the show. So it's like, um, for I have a, a company page called um, K Me Up Dance. And the only thing we do is just post, post the dances. Post a lot of dances or somebody tag us to it. Mm-hmm. And just fun. It's just a real fun news blogging blog. So um, then we have another page. It's called KMEF World Premiere. If you're 18 and over, go to it. If you're not, we won't <laughs> talk about that one too much. <laughs> so um, if you're curious, go check it out. If you're 18 and over. <laughs> <laughs> so um that's our side our side thing we help a lot of exotic dancers you know we develop them we help them understand the business don't be green when you go into the business um because a lot of times they get so wrapped up into a lot of different stuff and they get bullied and screwed over so it's like you know don't get into that adult entertainment and think it's so it's just a lot to explain. Glamorous and... Yeah. Okay. So then, okay. Where do you see the company moving from the current point to maybe a year down the road, five years down the road? So the 10-year plan, my, well, my six-month plan is to get my show done. And um, we will see what will happen my next uh, Secret Santa 3. Mm-hmm. And, um, but my five-year plan is to be the biggest talked about show in Baltimore. And these shows, because I see it all the time, you're promoting, it's a weekly show, or is it a monthly show? It's annual. It's annual. Not the Secret Santa. Just, no. oh, I'm confusing with your hosting shows. Oh, my this party This man hosting. does so much that, you know, it all kind of. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, um, the party hosting is like because um our company we sponsor um disturbance auto club they do car shows so we sponsor them in promoting them um the party hosting we do the um you know different stuff people just ask us like we do party hosting we do radio mcs um me personally i just do a lot so Mm -hmm. it's like (laughs) but you'll find most entrepreneurs do um, a lot. They have their their hand in a few different things. Yeah. How did you even get into entrepreneurship? Like, why? Why start a company? Um, it was about. Uh, I'm old. No, four you're not. <laughs> it was about four years ago. This one right here is a baby, y'all. <laughs> Don't let her lie to you. Um, it was ten years ago, and I wanted to, you know, just do parties and. I just wanted to just be parties. Then all of a sudden, I just started promoting a lot of different clubs, and that's how they started reaching out to me. And I was like, well, I might as well, if I dip myself in this, I might as well just, just keep on going. And it just, everybody just kept rooting me on, people kept cheering me on. And because I brought a different flavor, mm-hmm. that's when people were like, you know, this is not a Baltimore thing. He just did him. So it was like, you know, it grew from being just, you know, he was just doing promoting to, to mm-hmm. something else. So now I'm bringing a different flavor. We was involved in a lot of different events, a lot of music, dancing, um, adult entertainment. It was like, it's a lot. But the main reason, the main goal for our company is to be... You know, something like Rolling Loud concert mm-hmm. or um, something like Coachella. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you know about that one. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, we want to do something I'm not like that. that out the loop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's like, yeah, that's what we really want to do. So you from Baltimore? Yes. Um, raised in Bella Edison on um, East Baltimore. Well, that's like Northeast Baltimore. So, you know... How are my East Siders, right? <laughs> How come, you know, you guys, I love, love, love supporting the DMV, but every single time I have somebody from Baltimore, maybe 
except for once. They're all from the east side. Because we're Where's hustlers. all my what? <laughs> we're hustlers. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> But seriously, guys, where's all my West Siders? Like, come on, hit me up, people. <laughs> no, <is it? laughs> so what about the Baltimore mentality? The crabs in a bucket, nobody can get out. Have you felt that? Because I've no, because I've had different Baltimore guests on here. Everybody had their own perspective about the love that they're shown from their city versus the love they're not shown from their city. What do it's, you think? It's it's hard because um, being. Being a Baltimore resident, mm -hmm. it's like everybody want to blow. Everybody want to be like, I was looking on somebody's Instagram earlier before I got here, and he was like, yo, nobody want to show me love. I'm not to blow. That's why nobody don't support you because you're so much. You attract what you are. Yeah. And he got so this anger or something. People have so much passion, but not the passion for your music. So it's like, um... King Lose, mm -hmm. um, Free Band Tess. Those guys are different from all the the Baltimore rappers we know and love, like Shorty Shorty or um, Presso the Mafia. They have popular songs, but they're not like King Lose. They're not like Free Band Tess. It was a Maryland artist that's like um, Logic. Mm -hmm. And you have other artists like DMX. Mario, those actually Maryland artists where you feel as though why they're so different versus why Baltimore is so much confined to one Just thing. Just Baltimore, yeah. So when they look at people like Young Moose and be like, oh yeah, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. That's why nobody don't support you because you're trying to be like somebody you're not. Yeah, also... Um if you're in the game for what you perceive is the payoff, the popularity, the cash flow, the whatever, right. then you're in the game for the wrong reasons. And a lot of that shows through, right, on what you're hungry. You're hungry for the fame versus you're hungry to be an artist. There is a drastic different difference between the two types. It's definitely a difference from you trying to be something versus who am I? Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between those two different people. Find your voice, people. Find your voice. <laughs> so, there's a lot. <laughs> this one, look, every time we get together, because we've done some things together, right? Yeah. Um, one of your events. Yeah. Yo, the, um, what is it? Celebrity flag. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity flag football back to school drive, which is definitely Coming back, <laughs> indeed. Um, so we are looking for artists for that, you guys, because dancers. we are giving platforms dancers. Um, what did I? Steppers. <laughs> like I was doing the step last night. Anyway, no, not my thing. Um, so just <laughs> just different things. Uh, vendors, businesses, sponsors, anything, everything. It is a big event. We're actually expanding it this year. Go figure. That's nice. Mm hmm. So, any uh, football leagues, you know, women's football leagues, pro, semi-pro, and amateur, uh, definitely contact the show at Get It Got It Good, G3. Um, same for email, same for Facebook, same for IG, same for YouTube. <laughs> Once you find one, you can find it all. Um, or myself, Naja Wilhite. Or, <laughs> or Naja Carter. I have both of them, you guys. Um Naja is N Y S I A. It's not stoked. I know. Or Nicaea. <laughs> people still call me Nicaea just to just to just to, see me just to mess with me. No, like people I've known for years are like Nicaea. Just because they know I my see name. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, definitely let us know. And also you're looking for artists as well. I am actually. Um I've been trying to do this T V commercial forever for like dancers. So it's like I need a whole lot of different dances for this TV commercial. Um, we doing TV commercials for restaurants now. Um, I'm doing a lot. <laughs> so if someone's interested in, you know, reaching out to you, what is the way that they get a response fastest via um, DM. DM you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I check my phone all the time. So when you send me a DM, if, if, it's, if I look at it, 
and you don't feel like you're serious enough, don't just send me a DM and be like, yeah, yo, I want to perform. Then you don't show up. <laughs> That'll get you X'd off the list forever. <laughs> and so then you come back fun. correct. Yeah, that's right? A, that's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of different things. Then when somebody you really want to go, they be like, yeah, I want to bring, because most of my shows is like, it's like younger artists mm-hmm. that's 18, but the club is only like sub 21. So <sighs> yeah, that's, that's the battle. Happens. That's the battle I got to deal with every single day. Every time I'm involved in an event, they always say like, got to be 21 and over. So the, it's like, it's messing out on them 18 year olds that got that fire, that NLE uh, chopper. Oh, another Maryland artist, YBN um, Cordae. Yeah, and he's waiting for me to respond like that. <laughs> he's another Maryland artist that's like, uh, he got a song called Worth It. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> I will look it up, because besides that, it's going to be cricket. Sorry. Send it to me. I'll show you love if yeah. I like it. <laughs> he another Maryland artist that blew, and nobody didn't really know. Um, IDK. He another Maryland artist. So it's like, um, Dan Hunter Izzy. He did a song that um, a lot of people like. I know that you probably be like, what if I hear are it, these yeah. Artists? No, actually, <laughs> because I have like uh, 50 million offspring, <laughs> I have heard a lot of these songs. I don't know everybody's name because I just won't commit it. I won't commit your name to my memory unless you have more than one hit or more than one good song to me because I have uh, too many things to remember. You see what I'm saying? Not one, one hit wonders. Yeah, no. Nah. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, and I may like the song, but I won't remember who and why they created it. I'll just bop to it. But, but if I hear the same type of style from the same artist, I'll look over and be like, yo, who's that? Right? And then right. I'll go follow. I'll go look. Um, I'll dig deeper into the artist, and then I will shout them out or something. Right? Right? Mm-hmm. But if it's just one record, why am I going to waste all that time? Because it's they from we gotta support our city. That's basically what it is. I support the city for the people who are actually grinding. No oh, offense, okay. y'all. Okay. But if you got one song, um, literally, you guys, you guys, you guys, you gotta create a portfolio. I know you guys have heard of it before. <laughs> that is a body of work that you can ship out as marketing to prospective people who will pay you, <laughs> right? Um, if you have one song in your portfolio, if you don't have any imagery on your social media, if you don't have any videos, videos sell you guys, so don't just post pictures. Dancer that posts pictures can look pretty, but can they dance? Have you ever seen them dance? You see or what I'm have saying? Rhythm, choreography, do they have experience in it? Do they have experience? Now, I could take an unexperienced dancer who can dance, who is teachable, okay. um, over somebody who look pretty and then can't stay on beat. Yeah, there's a lot. You guys, <laughs> you would be surprised how many dance teachers cannot dance. <laughs> I mean, I'm my just dance saying. teacher was um, Morgan Freeman because I graduated from Baltimore City College High mm-hmm. School. And um, I was in the, the dance troupe. So I was the only guy. <laughs> so, Great way to meet females, fellas. We are looking know. for more male dancers. <laughs> so it's like, um, when I was involved, when I graduated from City, um, I was the only guy. But the reason people respected me because I was the only guy, but I had rhythm and I actually know how to dance because I danced way before that. So I got like over 15 years of dance experience in me, but I just stuck with doing promoting. So it's like, I could have been a professional dancer, but nope, that was all it. So let me ask you, what type of dance? Um, Hip hop, contemporary, um, a little bit ballet. Mm-hmm. Um, but mostly hip hop, ball and club. Yeah, club music. You guys, I love club. <laughs> I do. Okay, so I know we're in between the DMV, but you know, club over go-go sorry yo i went to college park you guys and that was really my first introduction to go-go um and it's so much slower than club <laughs> it is <laughs> mm-hmm. versus club is like you know it's faster and they can't keep up no offense dc <laughs> i mean they got the style called beat the feet beat something. the feet yeah 
So if you're talking hip hop and dance, are you looking for any type of dancer? Like, are you looking for hip hop dancers? Are you looking for trained? You know, trained. Tr- so trained in any form format. Tappers, they, they, they come to you to and be, clog. Yeah, they gotta be <laughs> like they gotta bring that fire. When you, when they say when they look in like the world of dance or mm-hmm. um, like like platforms like that, they gotta bring that fire where it feels though somebody can look. And be like, wow! I didn't know they could do that. I had a, a dancer; she was an exotic dancer, but she could dance. <laughs> she mm-hmm. could actually dance, and that's the that kind doesn't of shock me. Yeah, that's actually dances I need for my shows. So then, what can they expect? If somebody then decides to work with you, do a show with you. What can they expect as far as the next step or um, you expect the viewership? The they the five. Okay, it's gonna be five. And you never know who will be in the audience as well. So regardless you never know of it, who's gonna be? It could be Ricky Smiley. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he go to my shows too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, um, there's a lot of like famous, famous people and radio personalities. They be in my shows so they can look and see like, oh yeah, come in. I need I need to use him for my next show. So you guys, the idea, and and I'm gonna pick on millennials again, right? Because <laughs> right. I didn't do it. I, he just opened a can of worms. So it's not just social media. It's about getting out there, networking, which means face-to-face communication and Push contact. Your feet to that concrete. Yes, <laughs> you know you have to make that connection because a person that you make a warm connection with that then follows you, like, hey, take out your phone, let's follow each other. They're more likely to keep following you instead of unfollowing, right? Exactly. They're also more likely to follow what you're doing and support even likes on the page will help your numbers and stuff like that. So well, if you just like the party, just come party. Just come party. <laughs> um, but it's about getting that experience, getting on the smaller stages. A lot of people say, I want to be an artist. I want to jump from little to huge. It doesn't work that way. You have to put in the work. Start from the beginning before you start. You can't bring a horse to the pasture and expect it to drink. <laughs> right. So, so you guys, we have to get out of here. Yeah. The time just flies by. I want to thank all my Facebook people for watching. You guys, I always go live behind the scenes on Facebook at Naja Carter, N-Y-S-I-A. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, just so you know, we are going live right now on WBGR Health and Wellness. We will repost the live show from the station on the various social media sites um, at Get It Got A Good G3. It would also be available on YouTube by Friday at Get It Got It Good G3. You can follow John John at K E M F. Doesn't matter which one. Doesn't matter which <laughs> one. You find one, you find them all. Kingdom Entertainment Media yeah. Film. There you okay, go. so it's a little bit of everything. If you're interested in performing, um, definitely. Uh, hit them up. Um, we have shows and performances coming up as well. Or if you want me to link you with anybody who may be able to help you, I can point you in the right direction. I want to thank uh, Jay Lee again, Bomb City, <laughs> for the shirt those. today. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> See, I do support Baltimore. It's a promoter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. I also want to thank my other sponsors, um, Merlin Prep Academy, who is actually having a combine coming up. Don't ask me when. I will post it. It's on the, the feed. It's also on our IG pages. Dance Solutions, Dance Solutions Youth Outreach, Mission Dance Works, um, Favor One. So just promote them all. And then, like I said, we are having the Celebrity Flag Football Back to School Drive once again this summer. So we're looking for support for that. If you're a business owner, get involved early because there's a limited space. Um, anything else you want to add, my man? June 28th is about to be some fire. Latin, reggae, popular, unpopular. Y'all about to come, and it's about to be Miami up in there. Y'all better come. Miami got, no, Florida got kind of cold lately. <laughs> Iguanas falling out of trees, but we won't go there. All right, you guys, so tune in again, same place, same time, next Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. on the WBGR Health and Wellness channel. Definitely comment. If you got any more questions, anything, just tag us, uh, comment on the links, share. Love you guys. See you guys next week. Clean, reliable electricity. It's our energy solution. 
homeowners and business owners go solar with Bruum Energy. Help the planet and save money on electricity bills. Go solar and gauge Bruum Energy. 